welcome to my feel good daily routine. Getting ready for me is kind of part of my self care. It does something to make you feel good. This is a sign of a very anxious state for me. It's more productive. Every single person that worked in the library, oh my god, I love that book. It was so, so good. You're going to love it. Welcome to my feel-good daily routine and this part is the morning routine if you have been watching my videos for a long time you'll know I'm not really a morning person I've never been a morning person especially during this pregnancy because I really don't sleep well I struggle to sleep in the morning so I've been awake since 7 30 considering I went to bed at half past 11 and I woke up four times to pee and several times throughout the night so I don't feel really really fresh as you can tell it's not the best but it's okay woke up this morning and aired out the room as I usually do in the bed and I washed my face I always need cold water as soon as I wake up to help me kind of feel rejuvenated and then I always kind of pick up the living room a little bit I don't know kind of sets the mood it's never too bad but really helps and now we're going to go on and make some breakfast i always have the same thing for breakfast it's not because it's healthy it's because it's what i'm craving um strawberries are my big craving this pregnancy which is kind of a french cliche to be honest and i have some bread and some yogurt with it and you've seen that in several vlogs it's just what i crave in the morning let's go make some breakfast i'm starving actually Sometimes I'll add some raspberries or stuff like that, but uh, I'm really just craving strawberries today. The next part of my morning routine is always to get ready. It doesn't really matter whether I get kind of fully ready or if I just do like a few things that make me feel better. Some days I won't do my hair, I'll just put it up and I'll do my makeup. Some other days I won't do my makeup, but I'll do my hair. I always change it kind of depends on the level of how dressed I am to be honest like today especially in spring and summer a dress like I'll wear a dress and I'll look put together because dresses you know but other times it's literally leggings and some kind of shirt or a t-shirt or a sweater depending on the weather but I like to get ready in the morning because it does make me feel more productive I said that so many times before but I think getting ready for me is kind of part of my self-care in the sense that I feel a difference especially throughout the week if I got ready or not on days where I get ready I definitely feel more productive and on days when 
I don't, I tend to feel a bit more sluggish. It kind of depends on my overall kind of feelings that day, of course, but I do notice a really big difference when I make a little bit of an effort to put myself in productive mode, which has been quite different this pregnancy because some days I will have a lot of energy and I'll be fine and I'll get a slump usually in the afternoon, but then I'm fine. Other days are very difficult. I've been really trying to accept that and just be, it's fine today, you've done your best. It wasn't kind of a following my routine, my feel good routine, my productive routine. It had nothing to do with that. It just had to do with the fact that I'm growing a human being and I'm tired and that is fine. But getting ready in the morning really is a moment for me to kind of set the tone for the day. And the only day of the week where I don't put on makeup especially and don't really get ready as a whole are Sundays because usually on Sundays I'll work in the morning if I have something to finish but I won't work for the rest of the day it's really my chill day where I am on the couch with my pregnancy pillow my laptop I have my partner right next to me who's playing video games or watching movies and stuff and we're just chilling and that's the day where I don't get ready I usually won't even do my hair to be honest it's just a day off especially mentally throughout the week if I don't make some kind of effort to try to be productive, I usually kind of suffer a little bit. I also love the feeling of when you got ready that day and you have a cute outfit on and you've made an effort with your hair and you put on makeup and you feel on top of the world. Getting ready is definitely for me a mood booster. For example, yesterday, I really didn't feel great. I felt so tired from the moment I woke up, hadn't had the best night of sleep, which is quite often, and I decided okay we're going to take it slow but we're still we're still getting ready and I put on one of my favorite dresses the green dress <laughs> you've seen it many times and I got ready did my hair put some makeup on and I was really productive that morning the afternoon was a different story I still got things done but I had a little bit of a slump and I didn't feel great but I was like I'm going to try at least to feel good I'm going to try at least to be a bit more productive and productivity means a lot of different things I I think productivity means getting things done, going through your to-do list and working because work is part of life. But I think it also means getting things done for yourself and that could be making a really good lunch, going for a walk, reading a book. It's productive in the sense that it does something for you. It does something to make you feel good. And that's productive. That's part of self-care, yes, of course, but that's also part of why we're on this planet. It's not really to work every day of your life. It's literally to live your life. So I do definitely make an effort to incorporate self-care moments throughout my days and I have many videos on that so I'll link them down below but for me taking care of myself is also productive because when I take care of myself I end up getting more things done because my cup is filled some days I will get a ton of work done and I'll be feeling so good about myself and I'll be fine with that other days I need more of a balance even when I was working a nine-to-five I made sure to have moments throughout my days that were just for me so I would wake up a little bit earlier and I would do some stretches and watch YouTube videos or I would do a little bit of journaling in the morning I would watch videos whilst I was having breakfast making sure that I took my time in the morning for me I would try not to rush as much as possible and at night I would always make sure to take my time before before going to bed to read that's something I've done my entire life and I knew that it was important for me to continue doing that to continue having those moments throughout the day that were just for me and that's how I managed to be productive and to get things done at work and to still put up videos at least at the beginning after that it was more of a mental health issue it's productive to take care of your mental health i'm also someone who definitely loves makeup and i don't buy makeup as much as i used to i used to love watching beauty videos on youtube and try a few things i would not get crazy and buy a ton of things i was careful about that but i loved experimenting with makeup now i'm more like whenever i find a product that works for my skin works for me for my everyday needs i'm good with that i do 
like to try a few things because I mean, I'm still human. For example, I love the Rare Beauty blushes. I think they're amazing. I'm trying to get my hands on another one. They're really hard to come by. I've tried the Milk Makeup blush as well, loving it. Um, the Rare Beauty bronzer as well. I've treated myself to the Rare Beauty lip oils. I love these so much. I'm obsessed with them. I think it's also part of my feel-good moments throughout the day when I apply it in the morning and I reapply it throughout the day. Not necessarily because I need to, because the tint it leaves is great. It's more like the effect of it. I don't know. It's so good. Today I'm going to use Joy, which is the one that goes with this actually, which I've put on my cheeks wearing something red and I've gone a bit softer on the makeup. We're going to ignore the landscaping noises because it's going to go on forever. Look at this. <laughs> I'm in love. I also like to put on some sort of jewelry when I get ready. I'm just going to go for a necklace today because I'm going to have my headphones on. So I'm gonna have to take earrings in and out all day otherwise. So I'm going to wear this gorgeous, gorgeous necklace that my sister got me for Christmas. And it's the most beautiful thing. It's so funny because we got each other kind of the same kind of gifts, which is forever. I don't really know how it started, but we've been saying that I'm kind of like the sun and she's the moon. And I got her the equivalent of this necklace, which this one is the sun version. And I got the same one with the moon version. And she got me a sun necklace, which I think we're so good like that, <laughs> honestly. The next thing that I've been doing pretty much every morning so far has been a new habit. It's something I've started to do recently because my mental health was difficult to deal with. I was really, really anxious and it transpired in physical symptoms as well as mental. Mentally, I was having a hard time focusing. I was really nervous about a few things that I normally wouldn't be really nervous about. But physically, I could tell that I was not doing great. My heartbeat was very elevated. My chest felt very kind of it was really hard to breathe like as if someone was sitting on my chest and i know because i have an anxiety disorder that this is a sign of a very anxious state for me so i've decided that every day i would do at least one meditation and i would journal pretty much every day i need to let things out i need to help my mind focus on present moment and also let go of things that are kind of swirling around in my mind and that just don't bring me any help or joy or are just here to kind of make me feel even more anxious so i've been trying to do that every morning and for meditations i kind of switch i do have a playlist on youtube of my favorite meditations i sometimes will use insight timer it's an app where you can find a ton of meditations and it's free and Depending on my mood, I will choose whatever feels right. The length depends on how much I need that day. Some days, a five-minute meditation will be just right. Some other times, I know that I need more like 15-20 minutes. It really depends. Let's put these on and let's get meditating. vegging out on the couch for a few minutes after lunch because <laughs> I don't know I always get such like a slump after lunch even sometimes it's just a few minutes but I just need to sit for a bit but I've been really trying to make sure to get outside 
at least once a day and just go for a walk and today is a beautiful 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 day so before going back to work that's what we're gonna do it does wonders for my mental health I just did a little bit of work since coming back from the park. It was really, really nice. It's not something that I do. Usually I will go for a walk and I'll have a podcast on or something and I'll just walk around. But today I was like, I don't feel like walking too much because it's pretty warm actually today. I think it's it was 25 degrees, which I'm not used to just yet. Also I'm pregnant, so I think I'm struggling a bit more. But today I really felt like just enjoying my time being outside in the sun. So I got my book with me and that was actually so nice and it's definitely something that i'll do more often because i felt so at peace at first i felt really weird just being there on a bench i don't know i'm weird like that sometimes but after a while i just got into my book and i was just so into it and felt really really nice and i think like doing things that are not necessarily productive I think that sometimes putting first your mental health and things that make you feel good is more productive than doing something that feels productive. I just keep that in mind depending on the day and on how I feel, what will make me feel good and what could make me feel better if I'm not doing great. And today that was definitely reading, sitting, and I got a few steps in, I'm very happy about that. My main focus was not to kind of work out and move my body too much. I wanted to go outside. I wanted to move a bit, but I didn't really like, it was not my goal. I am very glad that I did that, to be honest. Another thing that makes me feel really good, and I'm sharing it now because I'm pretty sure that after cooking and having dinner, I'm just going to be too tired to talk. Also, when my partner comes home, I just want to enjoy being with him. That is reading. I've talked about reading and I think my last self-care moments video and i was talking about the fact that i've really been struggling for the past six eight months to find books that make me want to read and i i found a few that i mentioned i loved malibu rising by taylor jenkins reed i'm glad my mom died by jeanette mccurdy loved it i'm currently reading apples never fall i think that's it like those were the only kind of three books that i was really really into reading definitely make, makes me calmer and it's helps me unwind better than a TV show or a YouTube video. Whenever I watch a YouTube video, I get ideas for videos. My creativity kind of wakes up and I love doing that during the day, but at night it's definitely harder for me to switch off if I watch TV shows. I tend to be on my phone phone at the same time which is not great i'm also struggling to find a new tv show like i finished watching happy valley which was so freaking good go watch it it's so so good but it was only three seasons and it's only like six episodes per season so i like finished it in two weeks i was obsessed with it but now i, I don't know what to watch and i've been not really wanting to read at night because like i said the book that i'm currently reading apples never fall is on my bedside table it's like kind of the book that I read before going to bed. I wanted something different for the day. Again, I'm wearing like that. And then I went to my parents last weekend and I decided to kind of pick up a book that my mom got over Christmas time because we got the French version for my niece and the library assistants were all talking about it. The one that said, you should pick it up for your niece. She's going to love it. Every single person that worked in that library that we walked past <laughs> to go pay for the book was like oh my god i love that book it was so so good you're going to love it and i was waiting for my mom to read it so that i could read it after but the lady has a pile of like 20 books to read and it depends on what she wants to read so i was like i'm going to steal it you're not here you're not home she was away with a friend i'm getting it and i've started on monday and i've been obsessed with it it's what i think about all day every day it's called the grace here by Kim Liggett. Hope I'm not butchering this. The Grace Year Survive Together or Die Alone. It's a thriller. It's 
addicting because it's kind of a dystopian story you have no idea what's going to happen which i think is really what makes you want to keep reading also the writing is really good of course yeah i've been obsessed with it and i've really found that i've had an easier time falling asleep for the past three nights since i've been reading this i feel quite sleepy even starting to read the book like i mentioned a hundred times i've been pretty tired and every time that i kind of settle down on the couch and i start reading i can tell that i'm i'm really getting tired way more easily so i really want to keep doing that it's something that makes me feel incredible i really hope you enjoyed this video my feel good kind of daily routine is nothing crazy it's just things that i know work for me and that have proven over years that they are helpful and now that i'm pregnant i know that i need to really take care of myself for my mental health for my physical health but also i'm really trying to savor this time the last few months that i have on my own when i'm really able to take care of myself and do whatever i want whenever i want i'm very much aware that this is not going to last this time will come again when baby and i have more of a routine throughout the day and when we're more settled as a family with my partner and i'm welcoming the new routine of course that's something that i wanted but those feel good moments throughout the day are super important for me do let me know in the comments what you enjoy to do throughout the day for yourself and yourself only and to make you feel better and enjoy your day so i'm going to leave you and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye